Hello friends, this video on Ray Optics Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 6 before going ahead with part 7. So now let us talk about the mirror equation. There is a standard equation. What is mirror equation actually? It is an equation which relates the image distance with object distance and focal length. Image distance, object distance and focal length. These three things get related by using this mirror equation. So that means what is image distance? The distance from the pole where the image is formed. What is object distance? Distance from the pole where the object is situated and focal length obviously is the distance of the principal focus from the pole. Right? So did you notice something? All the distances are being measured from the pole of the spherical mirror. Right? So what is this mirror equation? So here we will derive a relationship between these three things. So we will take a few standard terms to denote image distance, object distance and focal length. Focal length as I told is always denoted by a small f. Image distance is denoted by a small v and object distance is denoted by a small u. So we will find out a relationship between v, u and f. So let us consider a concave spherical mirror. So we have a concave mirror. Let us suppose we have an object. Let us suppose we have an object. This is my object. Let us call it as, let, let me call this as AB. So this is the object. So some rays of light from this object will fall on the mirror. They will get reflected and then those reflected rays will meet at some point where the image will be formed. So now let us follow the rules. Remember rule number one. It says that a ray of light which falls parallel to the principal axis on the mirror after reflection passes through the principal focus. Right. So this is my first ray of light. Now let us suppose there is another ray of light which falls obliquely on the pole of the mirror. After reflection it will again get reflected obliquely. I am sorry the diagram is not very clear but I hope you understand. This ray of light falls obliquely and it gets reflected obliquely. Right. Again, there was another rule which stated that a ray of light which passes through the center of curvature when it falls on the mirror, let us suppose this is my mirror, so it will go back in the same path, right? So what do we see? All the three reflected rays, they meet at this point. That means the image will be formed at this point. So this is my image. Right? So this is the image formed. Now let us call this as, now if you see the image got inverted because any distance which is measured upward from the principal axis that is considered positive and any image and anything measured below the principal axis is taken as negative. So in this case we can say that the image is inverted. What else can we tell about this image? The image is also real because the reflected rays actually meet at this point. Right. So now let us try to let us now focus at what we are trying to do now. We are trying to concentrate on the mirror equation. Right. So let us focus on that. So let us call this point as M. This is F. This is A dash, B dash. This is P. Right. So now let us consider two triangles that is A dash, B dash, F. Let us consider A dash, B dash, F and triangle M, P, F. So we are considering M, P, F that is this triangle. Right? And this triangle. So if you look at these two triangles, these two triangles are Similar. How? Let me shade these two triangles so that it becomes easy for you. 
So right now I am talking about these two triangles. These two triangles are similar because this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle. This angle is 90 degree again this angle is 90 degree. So by AAA similarity we can say that these two triangles are similar. Now for similar triangles we can say that the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. So we can say that B dash A dash divided by PM that is this B dash A dash divided by PM will be equal to B dash F divided by FP that means this divided by this will be equal to this divided by this because right now we are talking about two triangles like this. This is one triangle, this is another triangle right. This is B dash a dash F and this is MP. So we can say that B dash A dash by PM is equal to B dash F divided by PFP. Right? So this we can write it as now what is this PM? If you look at it this PM is nothing but it is equal to AB. So you can write B dash A dash divided by AB is equal to B dash F divided by FP. So this is my first equation. Now if you look at it, this angle will be equal to this angle as I told you that rule number 4 told that a ray which falls obliquely towards pole that means this is my incident angle and this is my reflected angle. Let me call this angle as angle 1 and this as angle 2. So that means angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Therefore, we can again say that triangle ABP is similar to triangle A dash B dash P. That means this triangle, this big triangle and this small triangle are again similar. Let me draw these two triangles separately. Let us suppose this is A. B, P and this is B dash A dash P. So since this angle is angle 1, this angle is angle 2. So we can say that these two triangles are again similar because this angle is same. This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So obviously the third angle will also be same. So by AAA these two triangles are also similar. Therefore again this implies that because of their similarity we can again write that AB divided by B dash A dash is equal to PB divided by P B dash right so this we can write it as B dash A dash divided by A B is equal to P B dash divided by P B now let me name this equation as 2. Now if you compare equation 1 and equation 2 you see that for both these the left hand sides are equal therefore from equation 1 and 2 we can equate their right hand sides. So we can write that B dash F divided by FP is equal to PB dash divided by PB. Now what is B dash F? This is B dash F. Now B dash F can be written as PB dash minus PF right this distance what is this distance b dash f b dash f is nothing but b dash p minus fp right so we can write it like that so we can say that b dash f can be written as b dash p minus pf divided by fp is equal to pb dash divided by pb Right? So now let us stop here. Let us call this equation as equation A.
So now we will consider the sign convention. Now we will see what all we want here. What is our objective? We want to relate object distance, image distance and the focal length. Now what is the object distance in this case? Now if you look at it, the object is located here. So the object distance for all, as I told you earlier also, all distances are measured from the pole of the mirror. So any distance which is measured towards the negative side that is opposite to the incident ray is taken as negative and any distance which is measured in the direction of the incident ray is positive. So in this case the distance of the object is measured from pole. So from pole you have to move in this direction which is opposite to the direction of incident ray because incident ray is in this direction, right? So this will be negative. So we can see that the object distance that is u is PD, right? So we can say that the object distance is PB which is denoted by u with a negative sign because now we are considering the sign convention also. Similarly, what is the image distance? The image is formed here. The image distance is nothing but PB dash. So image distance is PB dash which is denoted by V. But this is also in the opposite direction of the incident ray. So this will also be negative. And what about the focal length? Focal length is nothing but the distance of this principal focus from the pole. That is PF. But the focal length PF is also in the negative direction or in the opposite direction of the incident ray. So this will also be negative. So considering sign convention, we can write PB, PB dash and PF as minus U, minus V and minus F respectively. Therefore, equation A becomes now what will happen to equation A? PB dash. This was your equation A, right? PB dash minus PF by FT. So we'll just replace these values. PB dash is nothing but minus V. PF is nothing but minus F. Divided by PF. That is nothing but minus F. Is equal to PB dash. That is minus V divided by PB that is minus U, right? So this we can write as V minus F divided by F is equal to V by U. So from this we can write V by F minus 1 is equal to V by U. Now dividing throughout by V, dividing throughout that means dividing the entire equation by v what do we get we get 1 by f minus 1 by v is equal to 1 by u so this means 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f and this equation is popularly known as the mirror equation this is this was our aim right we wanted to establish a relationship between the object distance image distance and the focal length of the mirror so now using this equation you can see that if an object is located at some distance u from the pole of the concave mirror then the image and the mirror has a focal length of f then the image will be formed at a distance v from the pole of the concave mirror. So this is how with the help of this equation you can find out the position at which the image will be formed. If you know the position of the object and the focal length of the mirror. So now you understand the significance of the mirror equation. Okay, so now, till now we considered, we took into consideration the concave mirror and we derived the mirror equation. Now we will consider uh, or we will see how the mirror equation changes in case of a convex mirror or it remains the same in case of a convex mirror. So, I mean, how does it change in case of a convex mirror? So, let us look at. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.